Patrick Findaro here, co-founder at Vetted Biz. In today's video, I'm going to go through the Wingstop franchise. We've been getting a lot of questions about this chicken franchise that's growing quite a lot despite the pandemic. So we're going to go through the franchise costs, how many locations they have, and other important factors that you should consider if you're at all interested in investing in a Wingstop. Even for those that don't have the hundreds of thousands of dollars to open up a Wingstop franchise, it is a publicly traded company. So you could also buy stocks in Wingstop and be an investor that way. You don't have to be an investor and op by opening up a franchise location. So those that are not familiar with the concept, they began as a small Buffalo style chicken wing restaurant in Garland, Texas in 1994. And they really had a cult following with their fans and they started franchising just three years later. Fast forward to today, 2022, they have over 1300 franchise locations across the United States. They compete with other wing uh, and, and chicken concepts like Buffalo Wild Wings, Bojangles restaurants, as well as Zaxby's. The initial investment for a food and beverage franchise isn't so bad at 347 thousand all the way up to 759,000. And this includes a $30,000 initial franchise fee. Royalties and ad fund, um, ad funds a bit high at 4%. Usually it's more like 2% for a food and beverage franchise. And the royalties are 6%, which is a little high for food and beverage. Generally we see it closer to 5%. Um, and then also you have to account in for, for local advertising of 2% for if you're a Wingstop franchisee. The median annual sales in 2020 were $1.35 million. The franchisor is very profitable and averaged $22 million in net income over the last three years. And the stock is trading at an all time high and it's pretty pricey if you wanna buy a Wingstop shares where it's trading for well over 10 times the annual sales and is trading at a crazy multiple if you look at the the EBITDA or look at the the net income that they're making um, over 300 franchises have opened in the last three years and they don't seem to be slowing down anytime soon it takes about six years more or less to recoup your initial investment and that's operating with a 10% profit margin on that $1.39 million. If you're able to, to work the business with 15, 17% profit margin, you could potentially recoup your capital investment with a wing stop in as little as three or four years. So comparing that to some industry giants like McDonald's or even Bojangles in the similar category, the payback period is pretty fast. Comparing that to Zaxby's, now that's a good competition. Zaxby's, the payback period is a little better than Wingstop. If you're considering Zaxby's or considering Wingstop, you should definitely talk to other franchisees of both systems to decide which of those franchisors that are in pretty similar category might be the best fit for you opening in your city and state. Um, I hope you like this video. If there's other chicken related franchises or any other franchise for that matter you'd like us to review, shoot me an email at patrick at vettedbiz.com. Thanks.